Sloan Partners welcomes Kevin Kroninsky, Dr. Kevin Kroninsky, Chief Operating Officer, Foundation Medicine. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. We'd like to start by just asking you to sort of give the elevator pitch of Foundation Medicine. Sure, uh, we'll try to keep it brief. So, so Foundation Medicine is evolving into a molecular information company. And we started here in Boston. We're in Cambridge, as you may know. Um, thought leaders in molecular oncology, molecular pathology, as well as genomics came together several years ago. Our, mm -hmm. our founders are, are pretty well known. Um, and recognize that the time for being able to do what we do, which is really comprehensively profiling cancer in, in patients' individual tumors, uh, was, was right. And, and this is because of really a convergence of technology, like the, the next generation sequencing technology, mm -hmm. um, and computational biology algorithms that, uh, that we have internally that really allow us to do what we do. So uh, essentially, we have three components of the business. The, the first component is um, a pharmaceutical-related uh, component of the business where we, we currently have, we've announced about 10 pharmaceutical partnerships, and we actually have about 13 or 14 of them. Now, these are our uh, arrangements that are, are really true partnerships, and you've probably seen the press releases, mm -hmm. and they, they differ. They're all slightly different, but the spirit of them is the same. We're essentially taking uh, either retrospective or even prospective uh, clinical trial patients, and we're looking at their, their tissue, mm -hmm. and we're doing a, a comprehensive molecular profile on it. And obviously, we can go you know, many different directions based upon the individual partnership. The second component, of course, is the clinical component, where I've spent the majority of my career on, on the clinical diagnostic side. So we have a CLIA-approved um, assay called Foundation One. That was actually released formally at ASCO um, of this year. So it's only, it's only been on the market. Yeah, thank you, thank you. It's only been on the market for about six months, but it, it really has you know, it really has made a splash and I think resonated extremely well with uh, KOLs around the country um, and in fact around the world. We've, um, we've uh, just received an order from our 18th country, so we're, we now uh, are selling tests uh, clearly across the United States but also internationally in 18 different countries. And then ultimately, I talked about molecular information. You can imagine that the amount of content, the amount of molecular content mm -hmm. that we're finding um, in, in our academic partnerships as, as well as in, in the clinic is really something that is uh, building a, a very powerful database. And that in and of itself, this content becomes valuable, extremely valuable, we believe, uh, over time. And as we, you add patients and you add more information, it, um, it, it, it clearly becomes, you know, Clinically useful. Clinically useful. It becomes additive, and it has uh, it has value for uh, an awful lot of different purposes. Mm -hmm.